We got another Predator movie. This time it's a prequel called Prey, and it's a Hulu exclusive. That's troubling. But early reviews by critics who are special enough to get sneak previews, I'm not one of them, say this movie's actually really good. Well, I saw it with my family today, like a common peasant, and here are my thoughts. Let us pray. Those bastards are right, it's a damn good movie. And the reason for this is actually quite simple- Oh. Okay, easy. Easy, big fella. I will let them know. Just shut it off. Thank you. Okay, there's a predator off camera and he's saying, very aggressively, mind you, that you need to subscribe to my channel, Adam Does Movies, to catch all the movie reviews, news, things of that nature. Otherwise, he's blowing my head off and we can't have that. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Subscribe. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, this is a good movie. It's short, an hour and 30 minutes long. Could, can you imagine? Can you imagine such a dream? It doesn't overstay its welcome. It moves at a really good pace. It's got a very likable, believable lead in the role who's kicking ass, she's fighting for her life, she's surviving. She proves herself throughout the course of the film that she's a force to be reckoned with, one not to be trifled with all the same. Amber Midthunder's the actress who's gonna go up against all the odds. She's taking on bears, there's a, there's a lion kind of rummaging around. Oh, and oh yeah, a giant predator stalking her. She's got her trusty hatchet she throws. She starts modifying it by tying a rope around Jackie Chan style. Spins it around the neck. No, she doesn't do that. It's not that over the top. But there are some great action moments in this. I also love that since this is a prequel, they can have some fun with the uh, Predator design. This alien's a little bit old school. He doesn't have the newest tech available. So he has like a medieval shield. His face shield is kind of shitty. The technology that's at his disposal doesn't work as good. It's just a simple and fresh way to take a story that we've already seen before, the survival aspect, and put a little spin on it. Give a little creativity here and there. When it was announced this would be a Hulu exclusive, every part of me died inside. I thought, well, this is this is getting sent out to pasture. They're unceremoniously shitting it out on this platform and they're not gonna think again about it. But after seeing it, I'm even more puzzled what the point was. This is a really good movie. It's got beautiful cinematography. It's got a great captivating score. I don't think the budget was very high for this movie and that's fine. Dan knows how to squeeze out every ounce of capital he has to work with and make it look great. This guy did 10 Cloverfield Lane, a bottle movie. People trying to survive. He knows how to make it work and he does it again. This movie's rated R and it's entirely for violence. There's no nudity. Uh, sorry, we don't get to see the Predator's junk. Okay, it's, they're saving that for the sequel probably. There's no vulgar dialogue. It's absolutely because of the unbridled violence and some of the gore we get to witness. And it's good, it's very good stuff. We have animal skinnings, things getting stabbed, things getting shot in every part of the body. Decapitation, short for decapitation. And just an overall smattering of creative deaths. Since the budget is probably not the highest, there are some noticeable moments where the animal critters that come along are pretty fake looking. Some heavy CGI work at play it doesn't always stick, but then in other times it looks fantastic, almost one to one with real life nature. And while those moments can sometimes pull you out of the film, and keep in mind this is a film featuring a giant alien running around killing stuff, you get right back into it because of the performances, because of the beautiful direction, and because of the stakes. Even though they're very small, that makes it more intimate. That makes you along for the ride more. When they start to blow things up to a grandiose level, uh, nothing, nothing feels very relatable or plausible, but when it's just one dude, Hunting some other dudes. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I can get on board that ship. Predator, I'm with you. It's a Hulu exclusive, unfortunately. If you don't have the app, I'm pretty sure it's month to month. And I think it is absolutely worth watching. So pony up the 10 or 12 bucks that it costs. It's cheaper than going to a movie if you have a couple people to watch with. You're getting your money's worth. Check out Prey. Drop the lights down. Get the popcorn. Put it on a big TV and have a blast. My family did, we ate it up. And I guess the last thing I would say is make sure to like the video, share it around if you can, and oh, there we, there it is again, <laughs> I see you. Subscribe, please. 
thanks again for watching the video. If you really like what I'm doing here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You get access to 300 plus videos there that no one else gets to see, except for also YouTube join members. That's another way you can uh, support the show for just $4.99 a month. You become a member, you get access to a huge back catalog of videos from my second channel, which is now private. So it's just for you. It's, it's like a, it's like an OnlyFans for sophisticated people.